later today. Dave Wilkin is here. He's the founder of 10,000 Coffees, which is launching online today. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. This is terrific. Congratulations on this. So uh, the idea is to put together professionals with students so that they can exchange information. Exactly. This is the first movement of its kind in the world, and we're launching it today out of our own backyard in Canada. And it's actually for more than just students. It's for any young professional, recent grad, student, literally anyone that just wants to go for coffee and meet someone interesting. And as of today, we're launching it with hundreds of Canada's most interesting leaders. Well, They're I was already on say, the site. You have an impressive roster. Yeah. Give us a list. I mean, starting with with uh, Chris Hadfield. Well, we of have coast to coast cover. Yeah. Uh, from the smallest towns to the biggest cities, 21 different industries. They're sitting on the site waiting to meet with any young person. Uh, and some familiar names uh, would be things like, would be someone like Chris Hadfield, mm -hmm. uh, our, our great Canadian astronaut. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have other astronauts as well. We have scientists, doctors, uh, CEOs, just chefs. Literally 21 different industries just waiting to go for coffee and spark conversations with the next generation. So they are volunteering their time. Um, is it sort of, how does it work for the individual who wants to have coffee with these people? Is it one time, let's like say, Chris Hadfield, for example. You know, everybody wants to have coffee with him, for example. Yeah. But is he offering just one time? Or is it sort of, you know, to whomever? Are these all literal coffees? Or are we talking about like a virtual chit-chat as well? <laughs> so, he, so here's how it works. So literally, as of today, anyone across the country can go to 10,000coffees.com and join the movement. Yeah. It is a youth movement to start conversations and connect and bridge the gap between the real world and this next generation. And so when you go to the site, if you're anyone that wants to just give advice, so all of you could give amazing advice to any of the viewers that want to meet you, you can join as an expert. And an expert is literally anyone that wants to share a coffee with somebody. So CEOs, interns, scientists, and doctors, they join as an expert. And on the other hand, you have novices. So novices aren't just students, it could be anyone who's a young professional, who's discovering their first steps and just wants to go meet somebody interesting. And so they can go on the site and they can look at 21 different industries mm -hmm. and read not just about these experts, but why they do what they do, how they got their yeah. first steps, and things that you couldn't uh, find anywhere yeah. else online. But what so. makes this so interesting, at least concept-wise, uh, calling it 10,000 Coffees, is, is this, um, th this promise to have a face-to-face -face meet with somebody yes. that you might not be able to connect with. So how do I arrange... How do I arrange a coffee with Chris Hatfield? <laughs> so How do we do it? We have. Do I email him and then and we correspond a time? Is that is that a possibility? We're making it easy for novices to yeah. be able to say the right things and do the right things to meet who they want to meet with. Okay. And so novices, when they go to 10,000coffees.com, they would go to anyone's profiles and read all the things that they're interested in. And then when they want to request a coffee, they actually answer specific questions to be able to tell them about themselves and making it easy to almost ask for a date yeah. and appeal to them. And uh, when they request that coffee, uh, once uh, the expert is able to review all of them, they actually read what these young people have to say and learn from them. and go on a coffee, whether it's face-to-face -face in, a, in, a, in a local McCafe or yeah. wherever they might be. So you are an expert. I mean, you've got expert and novice in the, in the um, descriptor on, on the website. You're, a, you're an expert. What would you advise a young person just out of school, heading into the workforce? How would you tell them to go about establishing their career? Well, I grew up in a small town in Northern Ontario, so going off to the real world was a daunting task and you didn't know people outside of your own network. And so when you think about Canada, there's so many brilliant young people in all of the nooks and crannies that just need that first step. Yeah. And so what I encourage every single Canadian, whether you know what you want to do or whether you have no idea, just to come and join 10,000 Coffees and show us what can happen when you get to go for coffee with anybody. And like you're saying, you grew up in a very small town, so what if you are outside of these, like Chris Hadfield's in Waterloo, but what if you're someone in Nova Scotia who wants to, you know, somehow learn from him? You can do that online as well? Yeah, we have experts coast to coast, so we'll bring that face-to-face, -face, intimate coffee conversation to anyone, no matter where they are. But it's also a 21st century movement, so we have some amazing tools at our fingertips mm -hmm to be able to get that same advice and mentorship that they need through things like Google Hangouts and, and virtual coffee chats. Mm -hmm. So you still get that great conversation to get the first step, but you don't necessarily have to be in the same place. This is the first day of 10,000 coffees. Today is the, the first, first day. day, yes. What are your hopes and dreams for this site? 
We want to see every single Canadian join and show us what can happen when 10,000 people go and have a coffee chat. You know, I wouldn't be here today if I didn't have a coffee conversation myself. With you. And so it, it was interesting. When I went off to school, I knew nobody. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, one of my mentor, now a mentor, after many coffees, I can call her that, uh, sat me down and I was telling her all these ideas of how we could help youth connect with the real world and unlock opportunity. And she said, I'm not going to hire you, you need to start a company. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea what that even meant. And then within five minutes, she gave me all the steps I needed over a cup of coffee mm -hmm. to start a company. And now we're here today launching the biggest youth movement in the world. Good for you, Dave Wilkin. Congratulations, the Thank founder you. of 10,000 Coffees. Keep us updated, let us know how it's going. Thank you. And we'll have to have all of you join and yeah. meet some of the most interesting people that want to have a coffee with you and hear how you got to where you are. Done. Sounds Done. fantastic. Yeah. 725, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a minute with your forecast, your headlines, and your show buzz. See you in a second. Thanks. This is a billion dollar business, show business, but I think that the less serious you take it, the mic is yours right now. The more fun you have, and the more fun you have, the more fun the person you're talking to has. I like your questions. And the more fun the people watching have. Watch ET Canada's Roz Weston weeknights on Global. There's a new way to take your coffee at McDonald's, and it's with a reward. Introducing McCafe Rewards. Buy any seven hot drinks and get the eighth medium free. It's our way of saying thanks. Bleeding gums are not from brushing too hard. They're a sign of early gum disease, which can be reversed. Listerine kills up to 99.9% .9 of germs and reverses early gum disease. Protect your gums. Take the Listerine two-week challenge. Whew. What? I just had it again. What? That feeling. What feeling? That Rogers LTE feeling. You know, it's like... I'm not with Roger. Oh, yeah, right. You wouldn't get it. Feel the difference speed makes on Rogers. Canada's fastest LTE network. Up to two times faster than the other guys. So why go anywhere else? When it comes to softest shapes and styles, only Kleenex brand has it all. Find your style, then flaunt it at Kleenex.com. Quit smoking for your chance to win a 2014 Dodge Avenger or Dodge Journey. Register at DrivenToQuit.ca by February 28th. Driven to Quit, presented by the Canadian Cancer Society, with the generous support of McNeil Consumer Healthcare. Live from Bloor Street in downtown Toronto, it's The Morning Show. 728 and minus 20 degrees, minus 17 is your high. We are getting wall up this year, man. Oh, what a winter so far. I mean, it's one of those things. I don't know how many extreme cold weather alerts uh, we've had already this year, but a number of them. We have another one today. Um, and as a result, I mean, it's very serious for a lot of people who are spending time outside. I mean, you, your skin could freeze. I mean, it's just the reality. So you have to take precautions and, uh, you know, kids are not being allowed to go out for recess, recess in some cases, right? So, oh. and we'll continue to update you on um, any closures or anything that could be affected. Pearson also affected in some way some of the cancellations. Not, not severe yet, but, but, but there are something to keep in mind. Yeah, enough that you should call ahead, that's for sure. Uh, coming up, we're going to talk to John Geiger about the Angel Effect. Now, he's also the head of the Canadian National Geographic Society, but his book, The Angel Effect, is talking about residual energy from people that have passed on. So he's saying that it, it exists all around us and how it impacts us that are still here. Yeah. Um, that will be a fascinating, it is fascinating. conversation. Yeah, I've, talking, I've spoken to many people who have the same belief and I've, you know, it, it's very interesting to really see that and, and I've heard many things. You know, my father passed on a few years ago and 